All right, electronic air valves. A lot of you may be wondering why your valves are sticking. I'm going to show you why, okay? I bought these off somebody else that has had these for a long time. Now, you can service these from time to time and straighten them up and clean them up and whatnot. I've already taken this one apart because it's hard to do that with one hand. <laughs> so, what we're going to do first is there's a nut on top of this. You unscrew that nut. Most of your valves are constructed this way some may not have this on top they have a secured piece on top these ones you can take apart and service which that's nice you unscrew this you take it off of the wiring then there's just a cover and this will be able to slide right off now this is a magnet it's an electronic magnet this electronic magnet pulls a pin up okay the pin is inside of this. So it actually, there's a spring at the top inside and a spring at the bottom. The spring at the top holds it down. The electromagnet engages and pulls that pin up, which allows airflow to go through your valve. So now if we unscrew these screws and you're careful because there's basically a diaphragm in here, you take this off and you'll see that there's a spring and a spring and all kinds of rust. Rust is going to be your enemy. This is why a lot of people say to get air dryers to put on your system right after the compressors. The compressors are gonna be pushing moisture into your tank. If you can eliminate that moisture going into your tank, you'll eliminate a lot of this. Now there's still gonna be some, some type of condensation that can build up in your system and there's nothing you can really do about that except using uh, air uh, treatment stuff. I forget exactly what it is, but you can put something into your system to help dry out the air. And what it does is it mixes with the moisture that's in your system. And when you air up and air out, it helps to push it out of your system when you release and the air blows out. Also, on your tanks, you can have... Uh, your top and bottom, or this is front and back, and on the bottom of your tank, you can put one of these if, if it doesn't have one. What this is, is this is a drain valve. They have different kinds of drain valves. This is a manual, so you can open it up and, and, and close it at just spinning this, and then the water that builds up in your tank can pour out of this. Even my big truck over the road has some type of of one of these and even my big truck with a full air dryer can't keep all the moisture out so be careful that little spring you're going to pull this off and this is what you're wanting to clean all this rust okay under here you've got what looks like a rubber diaphragm this rubber diaphragm pulls up and down being held firmly in place it pulls up and down and what it's doing is it's sealing this ring when it's down, when it's up, it allows air to flow through here and back out. If this seal right here is not good to that, you're gonna have leaky valves. If your valves are sticking, this may be rusted inside here and it's not moving up and down. So that's the other problem that you'll run into. Once these get beyond uh, fixing, then you're going to run out of it being able to move. Okay. So periodically, uh, if it's like this, hopefully you can take this apart without this diaphragm ripping. Cause if this diaphragm rips, you're done. It's got to hold pressure right here where it goes together. And it's got to be able to have enough play to go up and down over that ring. So now what I'm going to do, some people may have uh, different ideas of what you can use. I'm going to clean this with WD-40. WD-40 is a water displacement, water displacement, and this was their 40th attempt. That's why it's WD-40, and it helps to clean and push water away from, being able, from getting back on it to help reduce the amount of rust. So I'm going to clean all of this off first with an air gun. And then I'm going to clean it with the WD-40.
All right, now like I said, all I used was WD-40. I did not spray this and clean it off. I just basically wiped it down and got a little bit of the dirt off with the excess uh, well, leftovers from that. Because this is on the outside. Mainly, you don't really want to get anything too much far into that. But anyway, I uh, got this all. I didn't get this wiped down because, like I said, again, it's on the outside. Uh, got all the insides wiped down. So now everything is fairly pretty much rust free I, all i used was the towels and that like i said you know i know no special cleaners i did it all right here with my hands see i still got dirt on them and uh cleaned all the rust off of this so now it has a clean contact surface to be able to hold pressure in there and i've got my little spring over here that you don't want to lose so we're going to put that back in there we're going to slide this back into this like so let's see if i can do this <laughs> there all right so that goes on to there then this is going to go right on to here we're going to screw all this together and let's see see if i can make this happen in there that's all back together now what i did was when i was putting this together i tightened this one just a little bit this one just a little bit basically finger tight on all of them and then i did like a quarter turn here quarter turn there quarter turn there there and then i kind of did i repeated the process because it probably isn't going to make a huge difference but i just want this to compress on here evenly so that it's all the way around even it's not going to be bent twisted in one way or the other so this is all together there this is one of one of the last pieces you put this on like right here and then you're going to stick both of the uh lines back through there and that'll slide back on you remember when you took it apart you know you put it back together the way you took it apart so we're going to do that and then put this we're going to put the nut on and then we're going to go ahead and test it all right there we go check that out see this one actually is missing the original nut on top so i found another nut i think this is an uh, exhaust manifold bolt for a Mazda B2200 motor. <laughs> so here we go. This is the rebuilt, and this is not rebuilt. Well, actually, just clean, not really rebuilt. There's nothing. There's no new parts. So now I'm going to go ahead, and I've got three more of those. I can get those cleaned up, and uh, let's go ahead and see if this works. We did, I need to get me a battery and some wire to the battery, and we'll get this tested real quick. All right, so now I got the airline hooked up. It's leaking right here is where it's leaking. It's not leaking much out of here. One thing I forgot to mention is when you take these apart and you clean it and everything, stretch those springs out just a little bit, like maybe a half an inch longer than what they were because it'll help to create some pressure on the bottom side of this to help that seal. Otherwise, you're going to be leaking. It still is leaking a little bit, but now you can take and, uh, baby, can you hold this real quick? I can see what's going on here. Just get the whole area right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, positive and negative. I'm gonna take the positive side. I'm gonna hook it up to the positive side of the battery and then you can just And that way you can test it out to make sure that it's working properly. Uh, like I said, there is a just a hair leak if you put your hand over the end of this and hold it real tight you can end up feeling a little bit of pressure build up or nothing at all if nothing at all then you don't have a leak another way you can do this is you can put enough fittings on this side to put a pressure gauge okay once you get enough pressure locked in there if you have a ball valve on this side you can close off the ball valve and you'd have your pressure gauge at a certain pressure and then you pull the airline off and leave it. You can spray it and make sure that nothing is leaking all over it. If there's nothing leaking, you know, you're not getting any bubbles and your needle doesn't move, then your valve is in perfect shape at that point. And there we go with that. So, there we go. Uh, damn compressor. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, go and clean your valves. Like I said, there's a lot of different valves out there. Uh, 
most of them are about this easy to do. Uh, other ones, let me show you these other ones. We'll just turn that off. That don't need to do nothing. Let's see, these ones actually have a retaining clip on top. So you pop that retaining clip off and the top will be able to pop right out of there. Okay, and then the same thing, you've got Allen wrenches here and that'll pull off. This is basically a mounting plate that goes on top. So it doesn't have anything to do, but your diaphragm is going to be right in between these and it all works exactly the same as uh, the other ones. Uh, let's see, do I have any other ones? I've got these ones and this one looks like it's got a clip down here that goes up here and clips onto it at the top. And this one, I'm not sure exactly what this is for. I got it from somebody. Uh, from uh, snowman actually I think I got these ones and uh, so but yeah see it still has the allen wrenches there's still a diaphragm inside there just look at your heads to make sure of which way these are going to unclip or unbolt and you will do it so subscribe uh, thumbs up for how to clean your valves and why they might be sticking and uh, comment at the bottom if you have any other tips uh, some of you guys out there that have done this before as well uh, if you've got your own special way of doing it, put in the comments, you know, let us all know that way we can all learn together and build our knowledge and be like huge freaking mini truckers, right? And we're just like, ah, you cannot defeat us because <laughs> we're down low and you're going to throw over us every time. So, <laughs> all right. Talk to you guys later. Look, see, she's even out here. Bye everybody.